Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a comfortable plush all foam mattress, you've come to the right video, because today I'm talking about the Puffy Lux mattress. I'm gonna talk about its construction, my experience with it, who it's a good fit for, and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, if you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. There you're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Puffy Lux. So if you spend much time online, you've probably heard of the Puffy mattresses. They're relatively new to the online mattress game, but they're very, very popular. And out of their line of three mattresses, the Puffy Lux is their most popular mattress. Now it comes in two versions, the all foam and the hybrid. We got the all foam mattress to review. So why is this their most popular mattress? Let's find out. So now let's take a look at the construction of the Puffy Lux mattress. First off, it's going to be 12 inches thick, starting on top and then working our way down. We've got a thin breathable cover, very soft as well. Shouldn't affect the overall feel of the mattress too much. Now the top foam layer is a slow moving memory foam. You can see it has a kind of classic memory foam feel, slowly pops back into place. It's also infused with gel to help with cooling and breathability. Below that, another plush layer. Also has that slow moving memory foam. This is what sets us apart from the original Puffy mattress, this extra layer of plush foam on top of the mattress. Now below that, you're gonna have a firmer transition layer. C has more of a bouncy, responsive feel overall. Also has cooling components to help with temperature regulation and with overall breathability and cooling in this mattress. Finally, on the bottom, you're gonna have a base support foam. So. What does all that mean? Well, first off, speaking of support, this mattress does come in an all foam version and a hybrid version. The hybrid version is definitely going to be more supportive than this all foam version. I think with this construction, not always the best match for a larger person. Now, speaking of cooling and breathability, also speaking of that hybrid, if you want more breathability, go with the hybrid, more room for airflow with those coils. With the all foam mattress here, even with these gel infusions, probably gonna trap a little bit of heat. It might make you overheat while you're sleeping. And last but not least, speaking of durability, looking at this mattress's overall construction and the materials, it should last for around seven to 10 years. Now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I put the Puffy at about a six and a half out of 10, about medium in terms of firmness. Some very plush layers on top and more supportive layers beneath that. So you can see, easy to press my hand in, but it gets firmer the further down I press. I do wanna note though that I'm a larger person. I'm 250 pounds. If you weigh less than me, you might not press in quite so far in this mattress. It might feel softer to you. On the other hand, if you're larger than me, you might press in further and might find it to be firmer than I did. But for me, a six and a half out of 10. Now in terms of feel, it kind of has that slow moving memory foam feel, that classic memory foam feel. So again, easy to press my hand in, kind of slowly forms back into place, but not the slowest memory foam I've come across at the same time. Now in terms of bounce, using the ball here to test that out, pretty much dies there on the mattress. So it lets me know it's not too easy to move around on this mattress. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on the Puffy Lux mattress. Starting on my back, a very good balance of comfort and support, hip sync in the top foam layers, but not too far, good lumbar support and good contouring from the top foam layers. Very nice for back sleeping. Moving to my side, I am feeling some pressure on my shoulders and my hips. However, I am a larger person. I'm 250 pounds. Some thick comfort layers right on top of this mattress. I think lighter people and medium weight people should feel better pressure relief than I did. Finally, moving to my stomach, I'm not getting quite enough support under my hips. I'm bowing in there a little bit and getting out of alignment. Here at Mattress Clarity, I like to make subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay close attention to my side sleeping results specifically on my shoulders and my hips. Let's get started.
If you sleep with a partner, you definitely want to think about motion transfer. Basically, if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Now, to test out the motion transfer on the Puffy Lux, I place a glass of water here in the center of the mattress. Now, I'm going to press into the other areas of the mattress, kind of trying to make a disturbance. Just a little bit of disturbance in the water there. This isn't too surprising to me. There's memory foam right on top of this mattress, some thick memory foam absorbing a lot of that motion. Now, I also laid down on one side of the mattress and Danny got in and out of bed on the other side, moved around, switched positions. I didn't feel too many hiss movements transferred on my side of the mattress. So overall, the Puffy Lux handles motion transfer very, very well. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the mattress, you also want to think about edge support. Basically, if you're sitting down or lying down at the edge of your mattress, you'll feel secure or more like you're going to roll off and onto the floor. Now, testing out the edge support here of the Puffy Lux, I'm sitting close to the edge. It's collapsing, but not too much. I definitely feel secure enough to lean over and tie my shoes. Now, lying down on this mattress, you can see I can roll around pretty close to the edge, collapsing just a little bit, but I do feel pretty secure. So overall, some pretty decent edge support. So now let's talk about the pros and who I think the Puffy Lux might be a good fit for. First off, I think it's a good match for back sleepers, a good balance of comfort and support. Your hips sink in just the right amount, good support from the layers on the bottom and good contouring as well. So very nice for back sleeping. I also think it's a good match for light and medium weight side sleepers. You're not going to sink in so far into this mattress as a heavier person might. You're going to feel very nice pressure relief on your shoulders and your hips. And last but not least, if you like more of that slow moving memory foam feel, the Puffy Lux is definitely for you. It has two layers right on top that have more of that classic memory foam feel. So you lie in the Puffy Lux, you slowly sink into the mattress, very, very comfortable. And now let's talk about the cons of who I think the Puffy Lux might not be the best fit for. First off, I think it's probably not the best fit for stomach sleepers. It's a medium firm mattress, might feel even softer to lighter people, not enough support for stomach sleepers. It's also not the best option, I think, for larger people, specifically larger side sleepers. They're gonna sink right into that mattress, feel some serious pressure on their shoulders and their hips. And last but not least, if you're looking for more of an affordable all foam mattress, you might want to look elsewhere. Right now, it's around $1,800 for a queen size, a very good deal for what you're getting, but it might be outside of some people's price ranges. If you're taking a look at the Puffy Lux, you might want to know how it compares to the original Puffy mattress. So let's do that right now. First off, there are some slight construction differences. You're gonna have four layers with the Puffy Lux, only three layers with the Puffy. The extra layer in the Puffy Lux is another soft layer of kind of slow moving memory foam near the top of the mattress. Now, because of that, the Puffy Lux is going to be softer than the Puffy mattress. It's also gonna have more of that slow moving memory foam feel, and the Puffy mattress is gonna have more of that balanced foam feel. Now, in terms of price, the Puffy Lux is going to cost more than the Puffy mattress. So who should get one and who should get the other? In terms of who should get the Puffy mattress, definitely a better option, I think, for those who want more of a balanced foam feel and those who want to save money. The Puffy Lux is going to be a better option for side sleepers, those who like more of a slow moving memory foam feel, and those who want more of an advanced deluxe mattress. And now let's talk about how it compares to one of its main competitors, the Purple Mattress. So first off, some construction differences. The Puffy Mattress is going to be an all foam mattress, kind of some slow moving memory foam right on top. Now, the Purple Mattress has foam in the support layer, but on top, a very unique hyper elastic gel polymer that's squishy, firm, and pressure leaving at the same time. Now, because of that, there are going to be some feel differences as well. The Puffy's gonna have more of a slow moving memory foam feel right on top. The Purple's gonna have more of a squishy yet firm feel on top of the mattress. In terms of firmness, they're quite close around six and a half out of 10. Now, speaking of price, the Purple is going to cost less than the Puffy Lux. So who should get one and who should get the other? Well, in terms of who should get the purple mattress, definitely a better option, I think, for heavier side sleepers, stomach sleepers, hot sleepers, and those are looking for more of an affordable mattress. In terms of who should get the Puffy Lux, a better option for light and medium weight side sleepers, and those who prefer more of a slow moving memory foam feel. The Puffy Lux is a bed in a box mattress, so it will arrive at your house in a cardboard box. So how do you unbox it? Well, it's pretty easy. First off, ask a friend for help moving the box inside and into your bedroom. Don't do it by yourself. These mattresses are quite heavy. You don't want to strain yourself. Then open up the top of the box and take out your rolled up mattress. Now place this on your femur foundation and slowly, carefully cut through the layers of plastic. Clear away all that plastic, give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely expand and off gas and you're good to go. 
So now I'd like to give you some additional information on the Puffy Lux mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, a 101 night sleep trial, a lifetime warranty. They offer other mattress models, accessories, and financing as well. And now I'd like to answer some frequently asked questions about the Puffy Lux mattress. The first question is, is the Puffy Lux worth it? Now, it does depend on what you're looking for. If you want something very, very plush, you're a side sleeper, you want a high quality all foam mattress, it's definitely worth it for you. The second question is, is the Puffy or Puffy Lux better? Now, it does depend on what you're looking for. For instance, if you want something that's a little bit more affordable, you like a balanced foam feel, the Puffy mattress is a better option. However, if you're more of a side sleeper, you like more of a slow moving memory foam feel, you want something more deluxe, the Puffy Lux is a better option. Now the third question is, is the Purple or Puffy Lux better? Now again, this depends on what you're looking for. If you're a heavier side sleeper, a stomach sleeper, a hot sleeper, or you wanna save some money, the Purple is a better option. However, if you're a light or medium weight side sleeper, you prefer more of a slow moving memory foam feel, the Puffy Lux is the better option. The last question is, how long will the Puffy Lux mattress last? Now, this does depend on your weight, how often you use the mattress, but looking at its construction, the high quality materials, it should last for at least seven years. In the end, I think the Puffy Lux is a great option for side sleepers and those who prefer a slow moving memory foam feel. But that's about it. If you're just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressglary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.